Hello, Aquarius. Rambling Mike here. I'm going to play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time. That I do. That I do. I definitely want to thank you for all the likes and subscribes. Appreciate every time you guys interact with those buttons right there. Thank you. Always a big shout out to all my Aquariuses that have blessed me with donations. Many of you. So very kind of you, my Aquarius friends. Appreciate them all, large or small. Aquarius, if you've ever blessed me with a donation, thank you. Big shout out. Thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support. Month after month. Uh, Ramblin' Nation. It's a membership channel I got here on YouTube. Every Wednesday night, I do live broadcasts with the members of Ramblin' Nation. We play tarot over there. We got tarot party over there. Giveaway t-shirts and tarot decks. It's a lot of fun. Every Saturday night, we get together as well. More tarot decks and t-shirts. Mike teaches a little bit. Saturday nights, uh, we haven't drawn anymore for free readings with old Ramblin' Mike that uh, we're putting together for members of Ramblin' Nation. I love it. I I'm absolutely loving meeting the members, reading for them. And uh, those are the only readings I'm doing anymore these days. Are free readings for members of Ramblin' Nation that catch the star. Anyway, if you've been thinking about becoming a member of Ramblin' Nation, we'd love to have you. The family's amazing. The membership button's right down below. Should be beside the subscription button if there's not a mem if there's not a join button on your device. There's always a link in the description of all my videos. Take you over to that membership page. I'll see many of you, huh? Wednesdays, and Saturdays, and behind the scenes as well. One more party I want to talk about, Aquarius. Oh yeah, November sixth, Palm Coast, Florida. Tarot party, meet and greet with old Ramblin' Mike. Oh yeah, baby. I'm so excited about inviting all of my tarot readers from Divinely Love Tarot. They're all going to be in the house. You know, it's a tarot party. Also inviting a very special guest, Batty from Battison Intuitive Tarot. Batty's going to be in the house reading cards with us. I'm going to be in the house reading cards. Full-blown dinner, drinks, door prizes. I'm talking tarot party. You know you want to take a look at it. There's a link in my description there. It's going to take you over there and show you the batch. It's going to be amazing. November 6th. You got time to put this together. I'm looking forward to meeting many of you. November 6th. I love you, Aquarius. All right, let's do it. Thanks for giving me a, mem a minute right there to talk about some parties. <laughs> hey, hey. Let's do it. A little looksy at love for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus, huh? Let's tune in. Hey, Tara, I love team. Aquarius is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Aquarius see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all of these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Aquarius' highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. All right, Aquarius. Whoa, man, they definitely want to talk, don't they? I'll be seeing all kinds of communication coming in here for you. Definitely seeing a lot of opportunities as well for you in the love arena. But there's one in particular this page keeps showing up right here. It's a little page of wands, Aquarius. You know, that's passionate communication. Here we go, here we go. I did see the seven cups, but that could mean there's one particular, it's a face card, huh, Aquarius? All right, all right, it's got fire in it. It's got earth in it. It's a princess of, princess of wands. <laughs> all right, Aquarius, we're gonna throw you a Celtic cross right here, clarify it with the witch's tarot. Love cards, major arcana. You know how we do it, let's do it, let's do it. Aquarius, love team. Let's cut this deck right here. See what's on the bottom of the deck. There's a cut. Wow. Three swords, Aquarius, but it's in the reverse. You know, for me, that's about those swords coming out of the heart. You know the one Mike shakes around? We're shaking them out, though. 
They're shaking them out. Out, out, out. Get out of Aquarius's reed. I loved it upside down. They, they fall out that way, Aquarius. Hey, hey, hey. And the moon's in reverse, too. Oh. Huh. Something incompleted. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Aquarius. Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Heartbeat of the Celtic Cross, love team. What do we got? An ace came out, Aquarius. An ace of swords. It's about clarity and truth and communication. It's sharp. It's able to cut anything out of your life that ain't serving you. Like, you know, lack of integrity. I mean, I'm looking at that cross or, 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 or at the crown. Also, I'm looking at the olive branches and the palm fronds, which talk about peace, tranquility, honor, nobility. What? And if that ain't there, Aquarius is probably going to cut it out. I did see seven cups. It's on the bottom right. The lovers. Oh, Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius talking to the lover. <laughs> yeah, the lover's right here. Major Arcana. Gemini may mean something to you, may not. And seven of Cups. Um, you may have options, but you may be clearing it down to one ace right here. Definitely talking with the lover. Strong connection when the lover's card shows up. Let's see what this Ace of Swords is about. Ace of Swords, what crosses that love team? Aquarius, love, what do we got? It's a King of Pentacles. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I mean, I like King of Pentacles in that energy. That's the catch for me. That's somebody grounded, balanced, stable, loving, generous, kind. Ideally, in a high vibration. If they're not, I'm telling you, if they're not showing up with that, that Ace of Swords is right there. But definitely talking with somebody. I mean, that king is a king of stability. <laughs> Got some birds squawking. I don't know. Oh, oh, and there's that princess. Oh, communication. Aquarius. Okay. At least with one individual. I keep seeing that seven of cup. So there's a lot of Aquarians that have some options. Base of the spread right here, but it's talking about this connection right here. This one. Oh, I got an emperor. <laughs> oh, the emperor showed up here in Aquarius. The spread. Mr. and Mrs. My Way or the Highway at the base of the spread. And, you know, Mr. or Mrs. You know. Supposed to be the catch. <laughs> oh, Aquarius got the emperor showed up. That's Aries seated in his power. I'm going to go ahead and just give that energy to my Aquarius right there. Because that's your ace of swords. Somebody's seated in their power. <laughs> Aquarius, an emperor wants to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm having fun with this spread. Give me a reason pass right here. Reason pass, Aquarius. The star showed up. <laughs> Your energy, Aquarius. That card of great hope and great faith and the potential of your dreams to become reality. It's a card of healing. It shows me a golden angelic being in this card with two cups. One pouring in the water. One pouring in the land. Oh, there it is right there. Water, land. Could have been about some people that have been separated for a minute. But it is the star. It is communication with somebody that Aquarius could see as, you know, the catch. Although, you know, if they're stubborn, that sword's going to be used. <laughs> they may have earth they may have fire in their chart here we go they may have air in their chart here we go two wands crossroads do I want to play with them or not ho <laughs> ho 
That's the transformation card. Woo! Crown in the spread. Aquarius. Love. What do we got? Three pinnacles. What? This is about somebody desiring to, to work on a foundation with you, Aquarius. A lot of stability right here with just a couple of cards. I mean, King of Pinnacles is stable. The Emperor is supposed to be stable. The star is here. The healing star. It's here. Three pinnacles crowning the spread, which is a card about working together to build a new foundation. Aquarius. <laughs> oh, nine cups. The genie bottle. Show This card's been showing up for pretty much everybody. I'm going to tell y'all. Follow your bliss. <laughs> Look, and somebody's pretty happy about all this. Probably both these two right here. Because they're talking. They're talking about healing. They're talking about the star. They're talking about being happy. Are they talking about the money tree? Maybe they are. The king of pinnacles. Three pinnacles. Are they talking business? They talking about being happy. <laughs> Eight swords, Aquarius. Oh Lord, Aquarius. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Two wands. All right, Aquarius. Near future. Here we go. Here we go. Eight wands, Aquarius. They ain't backing up. <laughs> That's solid, regular communication, Aquarius. Eight wands. Cupid's arrows of love flying through the air. Possibly they see you as that king of pinnacles energy. The catch, right? Grounded, balanced, stable. Midas touch. They, they're going to chat with you, Aquarius. <laughs> they may want some stability in their life. But I love eight wands shooting towards the star, Aquarius. <laughs> that is regular, solid communication. It's, it's, it's shooting at the Ace of Swords. It's shooting at the King of Pentacles energy. And it's shooting at the star. Wow. And the Emperor, right, in the vertical of the cross, says to me that the Emperor wants to build three pinnacles with Aquarius. And they're going to talk with you about it. It's right here. Eight wands. Whoo! Got a tower right here. These, you know, these two may have had a tower, but this can talk about sudden change. And this is good sudden change from what I see. That's why, you know, the, t the tower don't freak me out. It's Mars energy. It's, it's Aries, Scorpio energy. It gets stuff done fast now. <laughs> tower. What? There we go. You want to, you want to, what? You want to work? You want to work at the, how's Aquarius thinking and feeling right now? Give me that. Oh, seven swords came out. In this position with this spread, you know, obviously these are some lovers that have had a little challenge with them. But seven of swords is, you know, it's set right there by the emperor, right? <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Myware of the highway. Seven of Swords is all sneaky. It can say, you know, in this spread that Aquarius is going to use their own cunning and their own strategy not to be duped again. Dare I say. It does It does show, you know, the jester right there. Oh, sneaky, right? The fool. Three swords over one shoulder, two swords over the other shoulder. That's the old broken-hearted one because, well, they probably lived in the land of indecision for a while. Looking over their shoulder at the two swords that they left in the camp, which means Aquarius. I understand why I see all these cards showing up, so you're a little hesitant. And, you know, ain't nobody rushing into nothing right now. It's one of the reasons Mike spent a long time, a couple of months ago, talking about these retrogrades that are coming in. They're all going to go direct here soon and very soon. Aquarius got their eyes wide open on this individual. Oh, Lord of mercy, it's a four of wonders story right here. Stars out, emperor's here, seven of swords is in the story. <laughs> Woo, but an ace of swords is there right in the middle of this thing. If they're not showing up as the catch, man, if they're not going to come in here and put the effort of three pinnacles, they're going to tell you, they're going to talk. 
about dancing around the maypole with you? <laughs> Four wands, the old 11 card right here. <laughs> Exterior influence, Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles, Aquarius. What's going on? Ooh, Queen of Wands. Uh, that would say to me that the exterior influence on this individual is uh, that you are freaking magic. <laughs> and very attractive to them. Totally desirable. It's Queen of Wands energy, which also could say to me that they may feel that if they don't move now, they may miss out. Also, Queen of Wands energy is somebody that knows their worth. That's why they're coming in here sharp, man. Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles. Those are great cards about somebody showing up in their Sunday best, at least. But right over here, Seven of Swords says that Aquarius is going to make sure they're wearing their Sunday best on Monday and Tuesday as well. <laughs> oh, because they, they see you, that, that you know your worth, and they see that you're magic. You are, Aquarius. I like it. I do. This says that you're good looking, exciting. Oh, love it. And look at an Ace of Pentacles. That's an offer, ain't it? That's an offer. It's the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles, the quintessential universal dream. The little white picket fence and the big pink house. It's from what I can see right here, that's the Knight of Wands. All right. I got to give them credit where credit's due, but it says that take this person great courage <laughs> to come because they know that they weren't good. Anyway, I'm not apologizing for them. They need to do that. Coin coming in, Aquarius. <laughs> I've, they're good cards. They are so far. Now, give me a hope or a fear. Oh, Lord, help us. Hope or a fear right here for Aquarius. Aquarius. Love. Love. And, you know, it's an apology card. See, seven swords. I don't know. Apologies are what they're at. They're a little overrated. It is what it is. The Queen of Wands knows her worth without an apology. They're going to be talking to you. Sweetly. That's a Princess of Cups. <laughs> Hi, Aquarius. Here's my cup. Oh, the night. Oh, Lord, the waterfall crushing down. Here we go. Here we go. The lover. <laughs> One that makes the heart go boom, da da boom, da da boom, boom, boom. Mm, mm, mm. Weather overall, Aquarius. <laughs> what a nice spread, man. Ooh, Aquarius High is going to be going boom, boom. <laughs> oh, two of Pinnacles going to try and keep yourself balanced right here. Uh, <laughs> Got a lot of things going on. That's the dance of change, you know. Seven of wands, you probably blocked this person out and all that. They're coming in with eight wands and, and it appears they're gonna put their best foot forward. Two of pinnacles says to me that you're gonna do what's best for you. You're gonna keep yourself balanced right now. Two of pinnacles is really a good card in this energy right here about keeping yourself balanced, taking a look at it. There is an infinity symbol here on this card, right? You definitely blocked them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the hair fan and the sun. Yeah, they got they got something on their mind right here. That they do. They want their Aquarius. Give me some give me something on the witch's tail right here. A little more on this love story. It looks I mean, I can't argue with the ace of swords and the uh, you know and the king of pentacles in the heartbeat. Uh, they're going to put their best foot forward. You know, you know who you're dealing with here. I'm telling Aquarius nothing. They don't already know. Here we go. Give me something on that ace and that king. Hangman, hangman. 
dark night of the soul. If, if, if this person let you go or you let them go, why, you know, I say that because they're coming in really a anxious with eight wands. This is about dark night of the soul. This individual went into dark night of the soul when they went their own way and they got a good look at themselves, seven of swords. This is about getting a new perspective about where they belong and who they belong with in life. It's Pisces. may mean something to you. Hangman. It's got Odin's crow. I love this deck. Odin's crow up there with that golden pinnacle. Ah, take this. Take this to Aquarius. Wow. Get yourself out of hangman tree. Oh, wow. I love tarot. There's the pinnacle right there. Get ready, Aquarius. I keep getting this in reverse, and that for me is the swords falling out of the heart. I'm shaking them out. Out, out, out. Get out of Aquarius. They keep showing up in the reverse. I love it. These swords are falling out of people. Here we go. There's some on that emperor. Major Arcana. Base of the spread. He, they got a major arcana, the fool card. It's about fresh starts, new beginnings, leap of faith. It's an Aquarius energy. It's Uranus, the planet of sudden change, that old tower that showed earlier. Hey, look out. You're about to jump off the lob cliff, Mr. or Mrs. Emperor. <laughs> but old Ramblin says it's all right. You always land on your feet anyway. Okay, sirrah, sirrah, whatever it'll be, it'll be. Somebody's jumping towards their Aquarius with childlike faith, childlike innocence. I like it. If they weren't before, and they probably weren't with seven swords. Wow, queen of love. Give me something on the star, please. Five cups, yeah. Yeah, the hangman, hangman, singing the blues without the Aquarius. Who knows what those spilled cups are about? Who cares what those spilled cups are about with a spread like this? They are staring at these two cups that are sitting in front of them right now. Sitting on the star, the Aquarius card. All my majors for Aquarius are here. Singing the blues. Hope I can play with my Aquarius again. Dark night of the soul. The lightning pony came out. The, uh, excuse me, the fire pony. The knight of wands on top of three of pinnacles again. I see that energy as somebody that's brave and courageous. And they're coming in for their queen of wands energy. They have to be brave because from what I can see, they were a fool. They've had an epiphany, Ace of Swords. Eight Wands, you know who I'm talking about. They talking to you. They ain't gonna quit talking to you, Aquarius. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Eight Wands, oh, Six Swords, oh man, they wanna come out of choppy water, air energy again, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All the energies are here. Oh, they want to come out of it, man. They learned a lot of life lessons. See, six swords going away from, from the river tier. Six swords going away from hangman. Learned a lot of life lessons wherever they were at, Aquarius. They want to go over to Paradise Island. Got a hermit. Look at this. They went from hangman. Now, for me, this is source putting people in the hangman street. And this is willingly separating themselves onto source to take a look at the star in the jar. If they used to run around a lot with hangman and hermit, Mike would say they don't anymore. It's a, it's a sage card. This is somebody getting serious about spirituality. About two cops, Aquarius. Oh, Lord, I love it. Lord, Aquarius, I'm having fun. <laughs> Go, Aquarius. Get your lover right here, man. Super nice spread, Aquarius. 
Yeah, no, these two probably been through hell and back. Aquarius is two pinnacles, which means you're going to stay balanced, which means you're going to do what's best for you. Two pinnacles in an overall with a story is you keeping yourself balanced. I got an infinity. It's definitely a strong connection between you two. Is it not? <laughs> All right, give me a love card on this. And uh, that was three of swords in reverse again. I like everything I see right here, Aquarius. One step at a time. Huh? No, they're coming for you, man, because you are smoking hot to them. Here we go. And, and lit up spiritually, too. They want what you got. The star. You're the star, Aquarius. <laughs> they want the star in the jar. <laughs> they know the only way in is through source. Oh, look at love yourself first, Aquarius. So many of us have been getting this card right now. It's the secret. It's the key to it all. When we do that on the inside, it shows up on the outside. Oh, honeymoon card. Enjoy the bliss of time together. Come on. Give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me, give me. Past life relationship. No doubt about that. Probably past life in this life, past life in old lives. This is just past life stuff, figuring it out. A lot of this stuff's happening for the better right here. Love card, Aquarius. <laughs> the old chemistry card. Look at that star. Keeps showing up around here. Strong magnetic attraction. All right, all right, all right. Aquarius is just going to be balanced. Oh, romantic feelings. Oh, man. These feelings are real and worth exploring. And, and, and again, love yourself first. Okay? Still a little shining on this diamond. But we could love yourself first twice, right? Because all that chemistry and romantic feelings, right? Oh, Lord. Help us all. Aquarius. Hey, hey. <laughs> Give me some here, Aquarius. Tower again, sudden change. Sudden change, what do we got? The lovers. <laughs> Ding dong, Aquarius. Lovers overall. There's only two here, Aquarius. If there used to be three, it's, it's, it's to the proper number in Mike's tarot, two. <laughs> hey, 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 bottom of the deck. An omen of good luck and good fortune, Aquarius. The wheel, Jupiter, expansion, good luck. Wow, the wheel spinning in an upward direction. Winner, winner, chicken dinner coming in here for my Aquarius. Super happy for you, Aquarius. Hope you enjoyed the read. You know I love you. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Aquarius. Bye for now.